Hello and welcome to the Humble Investor Bull Bear Market Report for the week of July 2nd, 2018. My name is Adam Straseski and here are some important disclosures for you. The most important being is that the only thing certain about the stock market is uncertainty. But that's okay, that's why we've got a plan. And here it is. Let's look at our broad market readings and then let's get into the nitty gritty of the operating plan. Barometer, bulls still in force, still controlling the market on the longer term momentum. And uh, most of the uh, fundamental and technical things that we look at, market is definitely weakened, uh, especially since the beginning of January. We're in this sideways movement in the market, basically this large trading range, but the bulls have it right now. They're still winning. As far as momentum goes, it closed out the month with the S&P 500 greatly outpacing the MSC All World XUSA Index and Treasuries on a 12-month rolling basis. That's why if we're in equities, we want to focus on the U.S. markets rather than the internationals. Correction risk? You know, Brett is, uh, is showing a positive reversal, which is good for the bulls coming into this week. Uh, you can see right here. This is what I mean by positive reversal. We've got a higher low in price action on the S&P 500. This goes back, it looks like the end of May, uh, beginning of June right there. And then, uh, of course, this past trading week, this is a daily chart. You can see that higher low. And then on breadth, we've got a lower low. Lower low on both oscillators. If you remember from last week, we did have a lower low on one of the oscillators. And it didn't uh, go off this week. Uh, but we've got it in both of them now. Very minor in the longer term. It's it's uh, certainly you can see it a lot better in the shorter term oscillator, but not not so much in the longer term oscillator, although it is there. So we'll see if that gives the bulls some confidence to step in the market here and drag this market higher. As far as the stage of the S and P 500, you can see that we're still in this trading range. You can see how we failed back here. We had this uh, sell signal. A few weeks ago, and, and then the trigger, and then this past week we had follow through. And so now let's see if the bulls can step in and hold price here and then get keep this channel in line, this tighter channel right here. So, you know, I can't say I'm really positive about it. We've got three legs up, which is a wedge pattern. After that, one thing that we look at is two legs down. We're on the first leg down. So we'll see if uh, we can, if they can go against that or if in fact we do get a leg up and then another leg down. As far as our operating plan for this week, still like preferreds, still like U.S. small caps and still like U.S. growth. Small caps are stronger than large caps and U.S. growth is stronger than value and that's, both, that's according to momentum on the 12 month basis. So when we look at the weekly swing, here's our list of them. We did get into natural gas last week. The trigger, the buy trigger did get issue, and so we got in, we took action there. U.S. small caps, here's a look at them in U.S. growth, down 2.42% for the week. Still above the breakout level, we like that. We've got a really tight trading range right here, a tight bull channel, and so I would suspect that the bulls would come in and buy this uh, before too large of a pullback, and then also uh, at least a test to that, that high there. So don't know if it will happen for sure, but that's what I like to see after such a tight bull channel like that. U.S. growth a little bit weaker. You can see it broke to the upside and then almost immediately failed to the downside. Back right, uh, not quite to the middle of the trading range. Looks like the top or top third of the trading range. And so we really want to see the bull step in here and get this thing go higher. The the uh, the bears right now are in control as far as on the the weekly though. They like to see that type of price action. U.S. Treasuries, here's the weekly swing on the U.S. Treasuries. Basically, flat week, up 0.54% for the week. Still trading at the bottom of this trading range. Really need to see it break out to the upside uh, to, to feel a little bit better about it, and assuming that we're not going to get stopped out of it. Has another low here. Australia down 0.67% for the week. Basically, a flat week, inside week for Australia. You know, we're still in this bear channel here and on a larger scale this could be just every bear channel is a bull flag and so we'll see if we can get a break to the upside this week could get it it is so close it's right there so 
Just need a little bit more positive action to get it. MSCI EFA, the value index, bearish week down 0.91%, pretty close to our stop loss, right in the second, the, the area of our second purchase range. So if we can get a, good, a strong buy signal here, we'll definitely take it. This is a very weak buy signal. Uh, but good that it did not close on the lows. You can see we had price come down and then bounce right back up, basically closing on the highs, pretty close to the highs for the week as far as where it opened. Yep, it was healthcare, down 1.87% for the week. Good that it closed above the breakout. Bad that we even got below it during the trading ring. So what can I say? We've got a second purchase range down in here and then an original stop pretty far away from here. And so we'll see if the, the bulls can step in here and hold it higher. Transportation got clobbered this week, almost down 4%, 3.97%. We're getting pretty close to our, trade, our, our, um, our second purchase range and a little bit further away for our stop. So we'll see if it can make it down there and if we can get another buy trigger. And that's it. So for this week, nothing new for the monthly trender and as far as the weekly swing. We do want to look at getting into global natural resources. We were in this one. We sold out basically at a double top and uh, corrected. And now we've got a second uh, buy signal being issued. And so if we get the trigger, then we'll definitely take it. That'd be two legs down. And that's what we'd like to see for a pullback. With that, you have a great 4th of July. And we'll talk to you next week.